Hi everybody! Guess what we're going to do now? We're going to talk about the skull and basically all the parts that we are going to be held accountable for in our lab. So we are joined by this rainbow marble rainbow skull and this rainbow marble rainbow skull. Rainbow marble rainbow skull might just be my favorite model that we have in our little anatomy lab. My kids went through, I can't remember if I told you guys this story or not, but my kids went through this uh, phase when they were very small where everything was named rainbow marble rainbow sponge. Really? We had a chicken named rainbow marble rainbow sponge who got eaten by our dog. Yeah, that was a little bit uh, traumatic, but regardless, every time I look at this thing, I think rainbow marble, rainbow skull. So hence, that is who I'm referring to when I say that very long sentence. All right, so basically your skull, if you look on your lab handout, you will see where I am and what I am illustrating for you and how I'm kind of organizing this little walkthrough. We're going to start out and go through all the different bones. And probably because you've already done a bone lab in the past, you have some kind of um, warning that bone labs are challenging. Like there are a lot of parts. I don't know, you might not know this yet, but um, anatomy is a really challenging course. There's a lot of information to know. So this is just, you know, more par for the course. Here we are learning lots of information. Our skull, you look at it and you might think, oh yeah, two bones, the mandible and the rest of it. And the fact is, no, there are 22 bones that are fused and not so fused, but they actually are separate bones. And we're going to name them as separate bones and talk about them and name their parts, their bony landmarks, their holes as separate bones. So that's why there are a significant number of um, required stu structures in this lab, even though, dude, it's a freaking skull, one bone. Let's just move on. Yeah, nice try. Okay, so we can divide our skull <clears throat> into two sets. We can divide those 22 bones into two sets. And we have facial bones, and there are actually 14 of them. So you have 14 facial bones, and I am having um, technical difficulties with my, whatever this thing is called, tablet. That's lame. Uh, but then we also have eight cranial bones. Hey, you can see it over here in the, uh, in the outline. So, okay, I'll just write it out for you. Cranial, and I'm not going to write the word bones, and this is a C. And I'm going to make it a lot worse. Okay, yeah. We will try to avoid drawing with the pen as much as possible. So um, we're going to look at cranial bones first, and then we're going to look at the facial bones. And then what you'll notice is that we actually have a lot of holes that we're talking about. And that is because um, there are structures that are attached to our brain that have to get out of our skull. And in order to get out or come back in, they, there has to be a hole for them for those structures to pass through. So we're going to look at our holes, but then we're going to have just one whole section where we do nothing but holes. All right. Does that sound like a good plan? Let me see if I got all the things that I wanted to tell you. Um, one of the structures in just our overall skull is the fact that I told you that they are um, fused bones and they actually fuse on the sutures. And you're not going to be responsible for having to name each suture, but um, you are going to want to be able to identify that, yes, indeed, those are sutures. What else? If we took the, the space inside the skull where the brain sits, that's the cranial cavity. Because any bone that touches the brain is considered part of the cranium. And all the other, like your facial stuff, I'm curious about that. Are there any facial bones that actually make contact with the brain? I'm going to say no, and then let's fight about that if you disagree with me. Okay, let's move on to our first cranial bones. We're going to look at the frontal bone and the parietal bone. 